Hi everyone, we are in my garden today because I'm going to take you through some stress relieving reflexology points in your feet. Um, we're going to go through these points because it's been a hard year. Let's face it, it really has and it's been testing on our central nervous system and on our emotional system and on our stress responses. So I'm going to teach you a couple of little um, reflexology points that are really important like the adrenals, the solar plexus, the pelvis and the hip area and we're going to add some relief into the feet into these reflexology points that will disperse into the rest of the body and have you feel amazing. But first, one really important thing is what I work with is the brain will always tell you what it wants and tell you what it likes and therefore it'll tell you which side of the body it wants you to work on. So I'm a big believer that we don't do reflexology on both sides of the body, okay? You do it on the side that your brain wants you to do it on. So you're going to have to test that theory out yourself and this is how you do it. So you're going to choose something to test on your body. Maybe you have a stiff neck and you look right and then look left and then come back to center. Then all I want you to do is rub your right foot. Give it a rub all over, everywhere. Give it a stretch down the toes as in push the toes down to the floor and then really just get some sensation into that foot and rub as hard as you can, well not as hard as you can, but rub some sensation into that foot. And then you're gonna retest that neck. So same deal, sit up straight, look right, mine's worse, <laughs> look left. So I had a bit of a pinch on the right side and it, it's worse, way worse. Now you're going to go to the opposite foot. You're going to put some sensation into your left foot. Now you might have got a better result then with the right side. So now I'm going to rub all through my left side of my foot. So now this information, especially sensory information, is going to the right side of my brain. Stretch down on those toes as well really add some good information good sensory information into that foot good and then retest that <laughs> way better way better so that's one way you can see which side of your body wants more information and more input today I will be working on the left side of my body because my brain my right side needs more information and wants more input via my left. Does that make sense? So see which side you need to work on. You don't have to do that test. You could do a standing test as in touch your toes, rub the right foot, retouch your toes, see if it's worse or better. Opposite, left, touch your toes, rub the left foot, retouch your toes, see if it's worse or better. You'll have one side that is always better. That is the side we're working on today. Now that you should have a, a side that your body wants to work with, that your brain wants to receive more information on, you're only going to do these exercises and these massage techniques on that side. So the first one we're going to go to is around here, okay, and it is our adrenal glands. Now obviously your adrenal glands is where you produce stress-relating um, chemicals like cortisol, you know, your adrenals get overworked and we can have adrenal fatigue, etc. So this is an area, now you choose the foot, which you need to work on. Now this is an area that could be a little bit tender. So what we're going to do, and you can work however is comfortable for you. You can be sitting in a position like this, you can be sitting on a chair, you can lay on your bed, you can, however is comfortable for your body. So your adrenals and where we're working from, it's kind of, if that is the center of your foot, which we'll go to next, which is our solar plexus, we're kind of coming off a little bit. And if you lift your toe up, there's kind of a, a bit of a strenual, strenual, <laughs> a uh, sinewy, that's the word I was looking for, a sinewy kind of ligament that runs down through here. So just up there, if you press into there, ooh, it's kind of tender. So we're going to get our thumb in there. And we're going to do a little bit of work through there. Now, you don't have to press hard. So I'm actually getting two thumbs in there. And I'm just rubbing up towards my toe. And I'm massaging out that adrenal spot. Some nice big breaths would help as well. 
Beautiful. Good. You don't have to work on that for too long. If it is tender, just back off on the pressure a little bit. Perfect. From there, we're moving to our solar plexus. That is our seat of intuition. That is our center of ourselves. Um, if that is out of alignment, it's going to be blocked. We're going to not listen to our intuition. We're not going to feel connected to ourselves. We're not going to feel connected to Mother Earth or energy or frequency or vibration or we're just going to feel like we're just doing the do every single day. We're stressed. We have to get this, this and this done. And it's time to just slow down and recenter ourselves via that point, which is our solar plexus. The solar plexus is here. It's right in the center. If this was your entire body, look at me, look at my foot. This is my head. Okay. This is my neck. So coming down in the center is my solar plexus right here. So you're going to get your thumb and you're going to just gently push up and into that spot. Take a couple of big deep breaths. A couple of little presses through there. Hold that pressure into that spot. And if it's tender, it's all right. Just breathe through it, work with it. Beautiful. From there, we're going to work through our diaphragm because obviously when we're stressed, we hold a lot of shallowness in our diaphragm. We don't tend to take a nice, big, deep, relaxing breath. Instead, we will <coughs> shallow our breathing off, which cuts off our energy to our entire body as well. So we want to take a nice, big diaphragmatic breath, which comes from across here. So these are our lungs here. So I'm actually going to get you to open the foot up like that. So grab in the center and stretch it open. Grab and stretch it open. Now, if you can't do that, it's a little bit awkward for you to do that. You can just lay it on the ground and do the same thing. You can either grab your thumb and come directly across and open as well. You can do it from the center out. You can do it from that solar plexus, press into the solar plexus and then open and out. Good, you can use your knuckles as well. open up through there now it looks like I'm pressing pretty hard I quite like a firm touch on my feet but you can go softer if you wish if you like a soft touch good and opening up through there then from there we're gonna go to our hips and our pelvis now if you think about your pelvis okay you've got two sides so when the two sides come in from that pelvis, it makes a bowl and that bowl is like a cauldron and you can create whatever you like in that bowl. The energy in that bowl when it moves and it's nourished and it works really well can give you anything you want in life. However, if it is blocked and emotionally um, and physically, a emotional blockage will cause a tight psoas muscle. It'll cause tightness in the hip bones as well. And you will feel tight and stagnant, which is exactly how your energy will feel. Blocked and not flowing and stagnant and grumpy and uh, quick to react and irritated, okay? And we definitely don't want that in the pelvis because it is that center of our body it is where everything comes from and everything aligns to. So if you have a blockage in the pelvis, you really can't move your energy anywhere else in the body and everything that comes off that pelvis that is fixated on that pelvis is gonna be strained and pulled. So for the pelvis and the hips, the inside of your ankle, and we're still working only on the one side that you need to, the inside bone is your pelvis. So we're actually gonna just really rub and circle that bone, the inside pelvis bone, and we're gonna get some heat into it. So we're physically gonna rub some heat down into that pelvis. Good. You can tap that bone as well all around, get some energy flowing through that area. Then we're going to the outside. Now the outside bone is your hip joint, hip joint here. So once again, if that is, you know, stagnant and sore and tender, you're going to feel that in the hip joint up here. 
So massaging through that there, circling through that hip joint, and then adding some heat into it. And plus sensation is really important for the brain. So all forms of sensation go to the opposite side of the brain and the brain really gives it a lot of attention. The brain's like, oh, I'm getting sensation. And sensation is more important than movement and motor for the brain. Then we're gonna integrate the two. We're actually going to just rub through the ankle and the pelvis, right through that ankle bone there. It's like a Chinese burn. You don't have to do it really hard like that. Good. Feels so nice, that one. Perfect. So that's getting some heat into both those areas, my pelvis and my hips. <sighs> Big deep breath. And then the last one we're going to do is we're just going to stretch those toes out. Because remember, that is like the lock of your entire body. That is the padlock. If, that is, if this bone is locked up, your entire body will be locked up. So we want to unlock it by stretching those toes out at the end of the day. We've got a lymphatic drainage, a lot of lymphatic drainage through those toes as well. So just massaging those toes down, pointing the feet down will help open that lock up to the rest of the body and drain that lymphatic system as well. Beautiful. So there's a few little points that you can do in your feet. Now just retest yourself, retest what you tested before. So mine was my neck. Feels pretty good. Now my brain's had a little bit more sensation and information on the right side of my body, on the right side of my brain, which is actually the right side of my brain. And I should hopefully feel a little bit more centered and <sighs> drop back into the moment and just relaxed as well.